the explorer, Dr. Dora. I'm Dr. Dora. Are you ready for your checkup? Dora asked Boots one day. Boots was the perfect patient. He let Dr. Dora listen to his heart, check his eyes, and look in his ears. You're very healthy, Boots, Dr. Dora told him. Just then, they heard a great big sound. Achoo! That sounds like Benny sneezing, said Boots. This is a job for Dr. Dora, Dora exclaimed. First, we have to find out where Benny is, Dora said. Map, map, Dora and Boots called. Matt popped out of Backpack's side pocket and said, I can help you find Benny. First, go over Rock Bridge. Next, cross Rolling Rapids. Then, go through Red Rose Garden. That's where you'll find Benny. They started on their journey to find Benny. Achoo! They heard again. Poor Benny, said Dr. Dora. We'd better hurry. There's Rock Bridge, called Boots. They ran ahead and started climbing up the bridge. But when they reached the top, there was Tico sitting on the ground holding his arm. He did not look very happy. Tico, said Dora, what happened to you? Tico shook his head and pointed at a loose rock on the ground. Then he held up his scraped arm. Me brazzle, he said softly. Tico must have tripped over that rock and scraped his arm, said Dr. Dora. Don't worry, Tico. We can help make your arm feel better. We need something to make Tico's arm feel better, said Dr. Dora. I bet there's something in Backpack we can use. Backpack, Backpack, called Dora and Boots together and their friend Backpack sprang into action. Hola, Backpack, said Dr. Dora. We need something that's good for a scraped arm. A bandage was the perfect thing. Dora put the bandage on Tico's arm to help keep it clean and gave Tico a lollipop for being so brave. Tico smiled and said, Gracias, Dr. Dora. Then Boots picked up the rock that Tico had tripped over and set it back into Rock Bridge. No one will trip over that rock again, Boots said. Dora and Boots waved goodbye to Tico and continued on their way. Achoo! 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 The sneezes were louder than ever. We'd better go find Benny, Dr. Dora said. Rolling Rapids was next. But how would Dora and Boots get to the other side? I know, I know, shouted Boots. We can swing across. Dora and Boots grabbed onto vines and together they swung across rolling rapids. We made it, Dora exclaimed. But Boots had one little problem. Ouch, he groaned. My hand hurts. Dr. Dora took a look at her patient's hand. Hmm, Boots, it looks like you have a thorn stuck in your hand. I think I can pull it out if you hold still. I'll try, Boots said, wanting to be brave. I'll count to three and then pull it out. Okay, Boots? Dr. Dora asked. Okay, said Boots, closing his eyes. One, two, three. Dora counted and pulled out the thorn. I'm ready, trembled Boots with his eyes still shut. <laughs> I already took it out, Dr. Dora laughed. And here is a lollipop for being so brave. I didn't even feel it, Boots giggled. Thanks, Dr. Dora. Donata, said Dora, and they were back on their way. Achoo! By now, the sneezing was so loud, 
that the whole ground shook. Come on, Boots, shouted Dora. There's Red Rose Garden. But where was Benny? Benny, Dora and Boots called. Ha, 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 achoo! Hi, sniffled Benny. I'm trying to pick roses for my grandmother's birthday, but it sure is hard with all the ha, 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 achoo! Sneezing. I think Backpack has just the right thing for the sneezes, Dr. Dora said. Backpack, Backpack, shouted Boots. Dora gave the tissues to Benny. Thank you, Doctor. Hi, choo! Dora sneezed Benny as he blew his nose like a trumpet. Dr. Dora gave Benny a purple lollipop to make him feel better. Then she asked, Benny, could the roses be making you sneeze? There was only one way to find out. Benny bent down and took a deep breath. Achoo! He sneezed the loudest sneeze of all. Benny, we need to get you out of this garden, Dora exclaimed. Just then, Tico drove through the garden. Tico, can you give us a ride? Dora asked. Si, said Tico. Vamos! Gracias, Dora said. Let's go. They drove out of Red Rose Garden as fast as they could. Benny stopped sneezing. Phew! I feel better already, Benny said. Everyone cheered, so nobody noticed the rustling sound behind them. Before anyone could stop him, Swiper dashed in, swiped Benny's bouquet, and disappeared. Oh no! Benny cried. Now I don't have flowers for my grandmother's birthday. Don't worry. Dora reassured him. I bet Backpack has something you can give to her. Thanks, Backpack! Benny laughed as he skipped off with some balloons. And thanks, Dr. Dora! Donata! Dora called after him. Dora and Boots began walking home when suddenly they heard a loud achoo! Who could that be? Boots wondered. Just then Swiper appeared. Achoo! He sneezed. Oh, man! I guess Benny isn't the only one who sneezes when he's near red roses, Dora said. And she and Boots laughed and laughed all the way home. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and share. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And for more Dora the Explorer stories, check out my Dora the Explorer playlist. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the video and helps the channel. Thank you so much for your continued support. See you next time.